Oh, eventually get what they deserve. What's that, Freddy? Nothing nice, Luther. That instrument panel doesn't look very easy to use. The tension is so thick, you could cut it with a knife. I just wanted to say that. No special reason. I bet you have to study for a long time to learn to fly an airplane. It's a good thing we got here when we did. Without our help, who knows what would happen to Uncle Blenny? I wonder what all those gauges are for. Uncle Blenny's depending on us to catch the real conch shell thief. We can't let him down. I agree. <laughs> Sir, did you lose your wallet? No, probably no. Told you, Freddy. It doesn't belong to anyone. We can keep it. I don't think so, Luther. We will find the owner. <laughs> hmm. This is a statue of our Founder. It is in his honor that we hold the annual Founder's Day Festival. Step right up, gills and buoys, for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Did you see anything unusual near the Great Conch Shell yesterday? Could be wrong, son, but I do declare. I believe I saw Rosie Pearl swimming by near there. Looking for fun? Got four purple sea urchins just burning a hole in your pocket. And step right up to Gil Barker's fantastic floating fun. You can have more fun than a barrel of brine shrimp. Just pay, then play. Hey, hey, what do you say? I just flew in on a manta ray. Tired of going belly up at parties? You scorn the only thing you spawn. 
Well, don't get in a snit when you can score a hit here at Gil Barker's Floating Fun. If you've got four purple sea urchins, just fork over the dough and in you go. You'll come out a winner or my name isn't Broccoli Bob. But your name isn't Broccoli Bob. Don't bother me with details, son. I can't wait to catch the real conch shell thief and get poor Uncle Blenny out of jail. I'm with you there. I love carnivals. Hurry, hurry, guppies and gars, ladies and germs, step right up to Gil Barker's world-famous floating fun. Just four purple sea urchins get you inside. That's right, if you've got four purple sea urchins and you can hit the broadside of a barge, you can be a big winner. Hey, I hit the broadside of a barge just the other day. Yes, but you ran into it head first. And boy, did that ever hurt. Sir, we found the wallet. Are you trying to bribe the world-famous Gil Barker? Well, I'll tell you, yo guppies won't be getting the best of me. No, ma'am, you won't. Freddy, maybe we should hold on to the wallet ourselves. We'll find the owner, Luther. You'll see. Here's a purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. You say you want world peace. You say you want bulging pectoral fins and thin thighs. Well, tuck nuggies, you won't get that here. But for only four purple sea urchins, what you will get is a chance to prove your skill and have a thrill at Gil Barker's world famous floating fun. It's the perfect game for a fish with a sharp eye and a steady fin. That sounds like you, Freddy. So she's not only cute, but she can also shoot. Well, let's have four purple sea urchins and you can show us your stuff. Here you go. Remember, four purple sea urchins is the price of admission to Gil Barker's floating fun, where a squid can be a squid. Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. <laughs> Shadow. Wow, that 
looks really deep. Never count your crayfish before they're hatched. Truer words were never spoken. <laughs> <laughs>